Welcome to the channel, Excellence, where we strive for excellence. We strive to be one better than what we were yesterday. Now I'm here with Quinn Taylor, and she's going to tell you about her leap of faith and her journey when she took her leap of faith with God. Hey, how y'all doing? So I'm from Mississippi. I moved to Georgia two months ago, and I was working at this job that I was at for nine years. I went there a time my son was eight weeks. COVID hit and I was out for two weeks. That was the most time I ever spent with my son his whole life. He asked me to quit my job. He was like, Mom, we don't need all that money. And he asked me to quit my job. So I was like, uh, I'm gonna have to think about that. I started doing hair again. And I had 200 followers. I had got 1.4 thousand views on my hair when I did some knotless. And after that, I said I was gonna make me an account. Well, make me a price list from Wednesday evening to Friday morning. I had 44 appointments. And when I went back to work, they was like, oh, Queen, I don't wanna talk to you because you called in Wednesday. You know, you left early Wednesday, you called in Thursday, and now you're here today. And I was like, and I'm resigning today. And everybody was just waiting. I was like, no, it's time for me to go. So when I started doing hair full time, basically I was making the same amount of money I was at my job that I was working seven days a week. And when I found out, I was like, okay, God, I want to do better. I want a relationship with you. I started trying to find people on social media to where Facebook preaches to follow. And when I follow them, then I look, I was like, no, it's something ain't right about them. But before then, people sit in my chair and we'll talk about God and people could tell the shift just off of my social media, how I was talking. And people come sit in my chair and talk to me and I was sending them to these people and I was like, they not right. I feel like I'm giving I don't know if I'm sending them to the wrong people. Will I be in trouble for their souls? So I asked my mom to call one of her friends that was a prophet. And I talked to her and instantly, like 20 seconds on the phone, we both felt something. And I was like, uh, yeah. She was like, you, I need to come over there and talk to you. So I was telling her my dreams and she was like, yeah, well, God said this, this, and this. That same day. We was finna watch um, South Park. I couldn't watch it. The next day, we had went to a candlelight. They were smoking and drinking outside. I couldn't stand out there. I was listening to uh, rapping on the radio. I couldn't listen to it. Like I just started crying. I was like, what's wrong with me? They was like, your spirit man woke up. I was like, what? They was like, your spirit man woke up. The lady ex told me that I was like, I felt something happened to my body. She was like, I asked God to come visit you, but I didn't know it was going to happen this soon. And then I started having dreams and visions that was terrifying. That's why when you get that encounter with God, you know it's real. And you, the shift, some people scared to change because what you have to go through. Like what I went through was horrible horrible and I'm still in the process of going through it but I had myself looking at myself stabbing myself in the stomach like my eyes is open and I see myself standing in front of me stabbing myself in the stomach I see myself with my eyes closed standing in front of me sticking up my middle finger and my dreams I had demons telling me I wasn't gonna change so I don't play when it comes to God. Like, if you're not going to do right, stay on that side for a while. But just know, he you you want to call him when you need something. But he's, a, he's not an option. Every time we feel like we can do stuff our way, it always backfires. Jesus is not an option. We all here for a purpose. Yeah, he wants you to live your life, but it all comes in order. You have to do right. And I'm only 31. 
and I started this journey two years ago. So it's not no stamp when you supposed to do it, how you supposed to do it, just do it. Yeah, that's my That's stuff. right. <laughs> it's truly a blessing. It's truly a blessing to meet and greet the good spirits in this universe. See, a lot of times you meet people, it's a divine meeting. You got to be careful who you meet. God is in every last one of us. And when he decided to click that switch on and speak through you, remember, the only way that God speaks to man is through man, so man may comprehend. We come to y'all in love. We leave y'all in peace. Have a blessed day. We out.